Last time we were comparing simple interest versus compound interest and we were looking at something like how $100 might turn into maybe $115.68 with compound interest. So we were looking over the course span of one or maybe two years. But in this one I wanted to look over multiple periods with different cash flows so the cash flows aren't going to be the same they're not going to all just be a hundred dollars in year one hundred dollars in year two they're going to be different so let's go ahead and create some arbitrary numbers year one we're going to say that we're going to receive a hundred dollars in cash year two year two we're going to have four hundred dollars in cash I should probably line it up four hundred and in year three we've got three hundred dollars so the first thing you want to do normally is if you're on a test you want to kind of make a timeline so that you can kind of visualize it illustrate it to yourself arrow pointing forward to indicate the future and a little maybe straight line here uh, to represent the present value because this is where we are right now. This is the current day. So we're going to make three tick marks because, of course, we're receiving the cash in different years. The first year is going to be 100. The second is going to be 400. And the third is going to be 300. So we're going to be using the equation that we've brought up before future value is equal to present value times 1 plus r to the power of t now the thing is we are not looking for the future value we're actually looking for the present value so we need to manipulate this formula so if i were to simplify it just a bit it would look like this future value is equal to present value and i put a little dot for a multiplication sign 1 plus r to the power of t. And this way, we can actually get rid of the right side and isolate for the present value. So to get rid of the right side, we just need to divide by 1 plus r to the power of t. That way, this will cancel out, and then we'll be left with, well, whatever we do on the right side, we have to, of course, do to the left side. So. Our equation will look like present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus r to the power of t. And if you, in case you're not familiar with manipulating equations, uh, just the opposite of multiplication is division, which is why we divided this to get rid of the, the right side. So the, the actual equation will look like this now. Future or present value is present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus r to the power of t. So going through these individual years, we can see that it would be 1 plus the rate. Let's say the rate is, actually I'll put the rate up there so I can list the numbers, 10%, so it's going to be 0 0.1. And then the time, well, we're just in the first year, so we only need to discount it back one year. So it's going to be to the power of 1. The second one is going to be 1 plus 0 0.1, but we're going to have to discount it back two years. So it's going to be to the power of 2. And the third one, you can kind of guess as to what's going to happen here. It's going to be to the power of 3, since we're discounting it back three years. And all together, well these are all supposed to be at the same date, the present, present day. I haven't quite lined them up. But the three individual numbers will actually be $90.91 for the $100 in the first year. The second one will be $330.58. And the third one will be $225.39. Altogether, that's going to give us a present value of $646.88. So, all things aside, if someone were to offer you today, in the present day, $646.89, which one are you going to pick? You're going to pick this one because they're both converted to the present day. Everything else aside, this provides us with a greater amount of cash. So we would take this.
So this literally means what the cash flows would be worth in the present day where we currently are. Okay, hopefully you guys got that. We'll talk more about manipulating equations in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys there. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.